Hello and welcome to iQuanta's YouTube channel. Today I'm starting up with a very interesting series and I'll be sharing puzzles, you know, and the puzzles are from the book, the great book of puzzles and teasers by George J. Summers. This is me, I'll bring the solutions. The first puzzle is ham yesterday, pork today, by the way, I'm vegetarian. Uh, but I think that is irrelevant. Uh, so the way, the words that George J. Summers has written in the book, we are sharing it the same way. And uh, the agenda of this entire series is to actually develop a logical acumen in the students who are preparing for CAT or other management exams or any kind of people who are logic lovers. So let's build some logic with the first uh, puzzle. <clears throat> When Adrian, Bufford and Carter eat out, each orders either ham or pork. All right. Three people are there and they're ordering any two quantities, any, any, any two, any two um, <coughs> commodities. Okay. So we have Adrian, we have Bufford, we have uh, Carter and you know what, what I like the most about any logical puzzle. If the names are given in alphabetical order, <laughs> that is the best thing. If all were AAA, it would have been very difficult. Anyways, so this is also a very important thing which I have um, kind of identified in my due course of logic building that if alphabetical order is there, it's very easy for us to identify where to put what. And they can order either ham or pork. So basically, Adrian, this is a kind of a, you know, um, this is the kind of relation that we have that they can order anything, any, any, anything. Obviously, with some conditions and we have one, two, three conditions over there and based on that we need to solve this. The first says, first condition says if Adrian orders ham, Buffett orders pork. Well, what does that mean? So if I try to interpret the first statement, it's like this. Let's say this is Adrian and this is Buffett and this is the third guy that is Carter. If Adrian orders ham, Buffett will order pork. We don't know about Carter. Okay. This has to be there. Does it mean, does it mean that it can be vice versa? Like if Adrian orders pork, Buffett will order ham. Can we infer that? No. We can't infer that. This is what we need to understand that whenever we have something, this is, this is an if-then condition. If Adrian orders ham, then Buffett orders pork. But reverse is not possible. Okay, so that is going to be there. It should be, and it also means that if Adrian orders ham, Buffett would have to definitely order pork. But what if, what if I say uh, Buffett orders pork, then would Adrian order ham? We won't be sure. So vice versa is not true. Is that clear? So that is the first thing. Okay, and these simple things which are, which seem very logical to us, at the very same time, they are the ones will build your build your um, understanding to solve any logical reasoning puzzle which will be given in CAT. This is the interpretation of first statement. Coming to the second one. Either Adrian or Carter orders ham but not both. Adrian, Buffett, Carter. Either Adrian or Carter. See, if Adrian orders ham, Carter cannot order ham. But Carter had to order something. He'll be ordering pork and buffer, we don't know. And if, if, let's say, Carter orders ham, buff, uh, Adrian would order pork. Buffer, we won't be doing. All right. And both can order ham? Not really. We don't, we can't say that. Is that clear? So, these emojis are, when I'm smiling, that means this is possible. When I'm sad, that means it's not possible. So both cannot order ham. These things are there, which needs to be, which need to be kept in mind. By the way, because it is the very basic fundamental uh, aspect of trading in logical reasoning puzzles. That is why I'm giving these things one by one. But once you start practicing about it, these things will come naturally to you. Coming to third statement's interpretation. So Adrian, Buffett, and Carter. This one says, Buffett and Carter do not both order pork. Buffett and Carter do not both order pork. These two guys, if, if Buffett orders pork, Carter would have to order ham. If Buffett orders ham, 
Carter would have to order pork. Adrian, we don't know. So these two are smiling. Okay, this can happen. What can't happen? Both ordering pork. That can't happen. All right. At the very same time, the very same time, can I say both can order ham? Buffer and Carter do not order. Both order pork. One of them orders pork. It, 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 it means it. it, it, it they can order none also. Probably both can order ham. That is very important here. So both can order ham. That's a possibility. All right. Both can't order pork simultaneously, but both can order ham simultaneously. From third statement, this interpretation I want to you to have a close look on at this. And by the way, I think you should take a pause of uh, a minute and try to solve it on your own. And when you get the answer, <coughs> tell me the answer in the comment section. Tell me how much time did you actually take. So now I think you are back. Let's watch the solution. So we have all this stuff now. Based on that, let me try to solve it. So I'm writing Adrian, Buffard, and Carter. So. We will have to assume one condition, which can be true, which can be false, depending on the other condition. So first is, if Adrian or or is ham, buffer or is pork. Let me take the condition in which Adrian or is ham. So buffer or is pork. For Carter, we don't really know. Second says either Adrian or Carter or is ham, but not both. So in this in this, I have assumed that Adrian has ordered ham. So Carter cannot order ham, but he will be ordering something. That will be pork. Good to go. Now it says Buffer and Carter do not both order pork. And here I have both pork. So these two are violating the condition number three. And based on that, I'll put an emoji. This is not possible. This condition is not possible. So if this is not possible, my first assumption was that Adrian has ordered ham. And when I make the assumption, my entire arrangement goes haywire. What does that mean? That means we can definitely say that Adrian would not be ordering ham because if he orders ham, this will be the only arrangement which is violating condition three. That's why this arrangement is wrong. So if Adrian is not ordering ham, Adrian must be ordering pork. If Adrian is, has ordered pork, ordered pork, we don't know what will buffer uh, buffer order. Okay, now. Second says either Adrian or Carter orders ham, but not both. All right, cool. So Adrian has ordered uh, pork. So second condition is not even relevant over here. It's not relevant. Third says Buffer and Carter do not both both order pork. Cannot both order pork. So <clears throat> which which means if Buffer orders pork, Carter would order ham. Or or if Buffer Buffer orders Ham, Carter would order pork, but the moment I say, like if you see here, there are two assumptions, P, P, H, P, H, P, 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 H is a possibility. Yeah, P, P, H is a possibility. And okay, and if I, if I take, like if I take pork at the place of Carter, is that possible? Is it possible? It's, it's possible. Okay, let me do one thing. Uh, instead of writing these in the similar line, let me order them. Let me write them separately. So Adrian has ordered pork. Definitely, he can't order ham. Okay, he's ordered pork. So this first statement is irrelevant to us. Either Adrian or Carter orders ham, but not both. Irrelevant. Buffer and Carter do not both order pork. That is there. Both do not order pork. So <clears throat> that means if Either Buffard and Carter both have ordered ham. That is there. Or Adrian has ordered pork. That is this is definite. The second condition, Adrian has ordered pork. Now Buffard and Carter cannot both order pork, but they can order pork here. They can order pork, they can order ham. Okay, that is there. Or there's also a possibility that Buffard orders ham and Carter orders pork. Is that a possibility? Is that possible? Well, now let us check all the conditions with these assumptions. First, Adrian orders ham, Buffard orders pork. First condition is 
irrelevant to us for these three assumptions. Second, either Adrian or Carter orders ham, but not both. So that means if Adrian has ordered pork, Carter has to order ham. It is not possible that both can order pork. That means the third assumption, this assumption is wrong, where you can see that Adrian and Carter both have ordered pork. This is violating condition number two. All right. So this assumption is gone. Buffett Carter do not both order pork. Okay, so in these two assumptions, they both are not ordering pork. So <clears throat> what is definite now? That Carter will be ordering ham only, Adrian would be ordering pork only, be it any day, today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever. But Buffett is someone who can order both. So if they ask who could have ordered ham yesterday, could have ordered ham yesterday, pork today, the only person who can do that is Buffett. Other guys would be fixed for pork and ham respectively. So there's a very simple, I would say fundamental problem. But at the same time, this gives you enough um, a logic building which will help you definitely in solving a small part of a huge logical reasoning puzzle in the real CAD examination. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.